So what is a citation and response or an original answer in a Texas family law case? Well, the citation is a piece of paper or two or three that come from the county or district clerk where the case is filed and it's got a stamp on it and it's got some language on it. It's got a seal from the county clerk and it's an official document from the state of Texas and it says you have been sued in a lawsuit. You have the right to hire an attorney. Your answer to your deadline to answer this lawsuit is 20 days from the date it is served into your hot little hands. And it gives some warning. It's a big, scary piece of paper. It's usually attached to or, or and always delivered along with the petition and a standing order or a restraining order or protective order if there are any. And what's critical about that service is that that starts the clock ticking not only for the 60 day cooling off period but the answer period so you don't have to answer that petition for divorce immediately you have about 19 days from the day you get it in your hands however it's not a good idea to wait because Remember that that 20 days eats into the 60 day cooling off period. That means you've got, if you wait till day 20 to file your answer, 40 days left before the case can re reach a final resolution. It puts, it can put the responding party under a time crunch, but also gives them that cushion to interview and find appropriate counsel, right? 20 days is a good amount. It's almost three weeks. It's a good amount of time to be able to interview and find someone, you know, to help understand what's going on and protect your rights, answer your questions, get your information, and get an answer on file. There's a couple different kinds of answers. The things that you can do is just a general general denial. And in plain English, that is the most plain vanilla of the answers that can be filed. It essentially means that don't agree with anything going on in that original petition, want strict proof of it, but I am responding in the most plain vanilla, gentle way I can. The Times where you know the posture is more aggressive is when a counter petition for divorce is filed. And that counter petition can include all the same things that were in the original petition. Protective order, restraining order, request for additional restraint, above and beyond any county standing order. So when it comes to the seriousness of the response filed. A general denial is serious, but it's just serious enough, right? To make an appearance in the case, make sure that your email's noted by the clerk so you get copied on all the things, and then you can, you know, wrap up the case um, in a, a manner that comports with either a general denial, which is I want strict proof of all this, but I generally am not objecting to the request for relief and the petition for divorce, or whether you're filing that counter petition where you're seeking maybe identical uh, rights and remedies that the, uh, that, the, that the petitioner filed, right? Your spouse, the petitioner filed this request to be A, B, C, and D, and you're gonna mirror that because there's reasons that the court needs to know why your position should be considered for all those things equally. So those are the basic steps. There's also a waiver of service that can be done. I'm not the biggest fan of it. People always get uncomfortable with a waiver of service and essentially you're signing a document that says, I've, I've been given notice of this petition for divorce, but I'm basically going to exercise my own right to act as my own counsel and I may be waiving my right to a jury trial. It's just for, in my experience, I've rarely met people who are comfortable executing a waiver of service.
because they just don't feel like their rights and their questions are being protected or answered. So, but that's an option that's out there. That's, a, that's, a, that's one way to resolve the citation and response issue. But I don't highly recommend it just because everybody's comfort level with it is always so low. Anyway, questions or comments, chat at ashmorelawfirm.com. Chat at ashmorelawfirm.com. Thank you so much. Thank you.